Hey everybody, Austin Hill Shaw here, founder of Creativity Matters and author of The Shoreline of Wonder on Being Creative. Today I want to talk about making everything significant, making everything significant. And the idea behind making everything significant is about the way that we can start to understand and relate to the world as a partner within our creative process and really in our life process. I think that here in the West, we tend to look at ourselves as individuals first and foremost um, that are kind of living in a world. Maybe there's a collective around us. Uh, maybe there's an environment that we move through, but essentially we see ourselves as individuals. And, you know, that's, um, that's one way of looking at things. And certainly, you know, I am an individual. There's no other Austin Hill Shaw. There's no other one of you out there in the world, right? You are unique and that is precious. But from the point of view of creativity, our creativity is always taking place within systems. And those systems are always around us all the time. Sometimes they're environments that we're living in. Uh, sometimes it's the cities that we're moving through. Sometimes it's the nature that we're uh, experiencing or walking through that we're either connected to or not. Sometimes they are ideologies. But we are always in relationship with the world. And somebody said to me recently that the way that they move through the world is that they make everything significant. They don't discount anything. They don't discount anything as somewhat like chance or just something that uh, might have been random. They see everything as significant. And I really, really like that idea. I really like the idea of looking at everything that happens to you, not as something that's random or 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 out of or just coming out of nowhere but is in fact here to teach you something and i think this especially applies when we're wrestling with something so for example when i have an architectural design project that i'm working on and say that i'm trying to solve a roof line that uh, you know i'm trying to figure out how two bits of sloping roof are going to come together in a way that makes sense well just by having that question in my mind suddenly my awareness is all of a sudden peaked towards what roof lines are doing. So when I'm moving through neighborhoods and uh, streetscapes, suddenly what I'm noticing and aware of are the way people in the past have solved roof problems. And it starts to give me some sense of what I might be able to do to solve the creative problem that I have, uh, the creative challenge that I'm working on at that point in time. But I really think you can apply that to everything, not just things that you're working on, but things that have never been done before. And, and truly, you know, since there's never been one of you before, and uh, there never will be another one of you before, everything that you're doing is really unique. You know, even the fact that you are always evolving in time. And so whatever problem you're working on, whatever challenge you're trying to figure out, whatever thing you're trying to heal within yourself, or whatever way you're trying to reestablish wholeness, you can basically, not it's almost like soliciting help from the world around you is, is an interesting way of saying, but just actually just drop in to the self-existing interdependence that is always happening all the time. And I think it's an amazing way of being in the world. Um, you know, I've learned that from being in the high country of really asking the world around me for help and making what I experienced during the day significant. And more and more through the years, I'm learning how to apply that in my everyday ordinary existence. You know, notice when I have set an intention, notice that when I'm working on something or when something that is, you know, a challenge or a problem, just to notice what comes up in my life and not to dis dismiss it anyway, but to make it significant, to listen to what the world is saying to me and using the intelligence and consciousness and aliveness of the world to help me solve whatever problem or challenge or opportunity that I'm working on. And I think that's an amazing thing. You know, we don't have to, how to say, uh, have the weight of the world on our shoulders, right? We don't have to figure things out all ourselves. We have evolved from a very dynamic 
uh, dynamic, interdependent universe, very mysterious, uncertain universe. And because of that, we have, since we've come into being from that, we are part of that. We've always been a part of that. And we never stop being a part of that, even though sometimes we feel stuck and isolated or depressed or whatever it is. But the more that we can, again, make everything significant in our lives, make every moment significant, make all these things that come in, whether it's a, a, a squirrel leaping down from a tree or whether it's a, um, a drink or something, a, a glass of water that we spill on the table, just noticing through those interactions with the world that there, is, there are always messages that are being given to us. And those messages are ways in which we can start to move through times when we feel blocked or we feel stuck or we feel isolated so that we can, again, we can start to feel that sense of connectedness, which is our birthright, that sense of being part of this interdependent, amazingly miraculous world in which we live. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any uh, experiences that you've had where the world has suddenly made itself, uh, presented something to you that you took as significant and it helped you in a particular way, that it helped you solve a problem, that it helped you move forward, please leave that in the comment sections below this video. And if you're not on my website already, please go visit Austin, austinhillshaw.com and you can leave your comments there. And uh, I'm so happy that you've joined me again. This is Austin Hill Shaw, founder of Creativity Matters and author of The Shoreline of Wonder, reminding you to connect deeply, to make a difference and to inspire creativity in others. And remember, go out and make everything significant. Thank you.